Oh my goodness, it's that time of year. It's almost been an entire year since I made my first iCloud unlocking video. And honestly, I got a lot of complaints about that video. It was just too difficult for some of you guys to pull it off. So I have been working so hard to try to come up with another even easier way to solve these just pesky iCloud unlocking uh, problems. And I've got one that finally works. Now this one I'm so excited to share with you guys. Um, this one has come from us spending so much time troubleshooting all these phones and thinking how could we interfere with the process where the phone is kind of communicating with Apple during that verification step uh, when you restore the phone. If we could somehow just scramble that communication, take a couple of the ones and zeros and flip them around just a little bit, just enough to confuse the Apple servers then we might be able to actually pass update or pass restore. So that is what we've been able to do and you'll never believe how easy it is. Let me show you, I've got an iPhone here. This is an iPhone 7. Here you can see this iPhone 7 and we can click to see these are its, its numbers. This is an iPhone 7 for Sprint and I'm gonna connect it to my computer. Actually, let me pull up the iTunes window so we can kind of watch this together. This one's annoying because the home button doesn't work. And here we go. This is a recognizing my iPhone and it's activation lock. So this is the iCloud lock and we've seen that so frustrating. You know, whenever you've got one, you finally got it working, you restore the phone and it ends up being iCloud unlocked. But here's what we're gonna do. We are gonna use the Easy Bake Oven. The Easy Bake Oven. Let's kind of minimize this for a second. Um, the Easy Bake Oven is a, such an easy and fantastic solution. So let me tell you how I came up with this. We were thinking, how could we interfere with that communication? So the first thing we tried, you know, when we were thinking about like ovens and heating and, you know, maybe something like that would work. So we tried our bottom preheater, that didn't work. It seemed to be just too hot and it didn't really make a difference. And we thought about, you know, microwaving. That's obviously a bad idea. It's a great way to kill a phone. Uh, we thought about, you know, trying to just wrap the phone in tin foil. We tried disconnecting some of the antennas and none of that really went anywhere. So we needed something that was just a really, really gentle disturbance. And I walked in, there's my little girls. They're making stuff with their Easy Bake Oven. And I said, that looks like it could do the trick. Move over girls. And I borrowed their Easy Bake Oven and it has worked for, what have we done? Like, um, I think we've done about 28 phones so far. Every single one of them worked. Some of them we had to put through twice. Um, so let me show you. This is a, if you haven't used an Easy Bake Oven, Easy Bake Oven is a little, a little kid's toy that you can make these delicious cooked by light bulb brownies. So here's a batch that I made. Now I, I like to always make a batch of brownies before I do any iCloud unlocking because you need to make sure, look at this, you need to make sure that your oven is operating at that really, really ideal temperature. You want to have your brownies turn out looking like this. This is perfect. I mean, look at these delicious brownies. That's what you want them to look like. If they're too runny, then you need to let it warm up. So this thing has been preheating for at least 20 minutes. Um, so we're go ahead and use the Icesimo to remove the delicious brownies from the cookie tray. Now, sometimes I wonder whenever you discover, you know, one of these kind of like really weird things, just the same as we did when we uncovered, uncovered our um, seafood drilling method last year, you just kind of wonder, are these like little Easter eggs that were kind of left for folks like us to discover? You know, maybe, maybe they were intended by the manufacturer for us to kind of just, you know, with, with hard work and research, figure these things out. Here's why I think that for this, look at the size of the Easy Bake Oven cookie tray. Is that not the exact size of the iPhone 7. Look at that. Could that be more perfect? It, it, this has to have been intentional, I think. Come on. This is, you know, as much as we believe in planned obsolescence, this was planned iCloud unlock, if you ask me. All right, so I'm going to 
uh, snap this screen down. This is the phone, just to be clear, same phone, no funny business. And now here's the thing, you're gonna need to have a really long cord. So this one is really, really, really long. Look how long this cord is. This, you gotta have a really long cord because you're gonna have to do the restore in the oven. Let's notch it out. Notch it out for the, for the cord. All righty. There we go. Perfect. Here we go with our little notch cut out. All right. Same phone. Everything's totally, totally legit. All right. And then it, see how we've notched that out so that that cable, the phone can lay flat and the phone. Now this is key. It has to be perfectly, perfectly level. You don't want to have any part of the phone outside of the aluminum pan here. That's part of the um, disturbance of the signals. You need it to be exactly like this. All right, so now go ahead and put it in the oven. Now it doesn't seem to matter if you have the original screen or a replacement screen, if your home button works or not. Um, we did test to see whether or not this method would solve things like the iPhone 7 boot loop problem. It does not. So it can't help you with that problem. All right, so now you're just gonna, just like this, you're going to slide it in there and you kind of have to peek in there to make sure that you're getting it into the actual oven part, right? Because it's a little bit of a challenge with the cable in there. There we go. So now you can see it's fully in that oven, all right? You get that in there a little bit further. There we go. Okay. Now from within the oven, we're going to connect to iTunes. You can see the cable just kind of coming out. Now from within the oven, let it warm up. Come, it's gotta come up to that oven temperature before you start the restore. All right, let's pull up our iTunes window again. And now you can see that, the, that iTunes is recognizing this as an activation locked phone. So we're going to need to, uh, we're gonna need to prompt it to restore. All right, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to put it in recovery mode. Ooh, that's hot. Ooh, that's seriously hot. All right, I'm going to prompt it to go to recovery mode. Ooh. My, here's my recommendation is to not forget to put it in that recovery mode. It's already really, really hot. This is totally going to work out great. Uh, put it in recovery mode before you slide it into the oven. Should have done that. All right. I should probably write down these steps. Okay, so we are going to disconnect so that we can boot it. You know, so here's the same phone. All right, now I'm going to just, while you're watching, lift up the battery. And we are going to hold down the home button and with our long cable here, prompt it to boot in recovery mode so that iTunes will let us restore. All right, so there we are. Now we're in recovery mode. So I'm going to go ahead and put that screen back down again. All right, here we go. All righty, let me clear out of this message. Okay, so now it's got to go into the tray. All right, so iTunes is, is going to recognize it here um, as a phone. And restore. I don't want to start the restore until after the phone is in the oven. So look at the tray. The tray here, let me move this out of the way so that I can see. The tray is absolutely perfect and we've got this little cutout here that I made for the iPhone cable. Okay, so now we're gonna slide it into the Easy Bake Oven and you've gotta make sure that the entire phone is fully encased by the aluminum pan. That's what's gonna be blocking those signals. If you have it sitting up too high, it's not gonna work. So um, for us, we've done 
Um, about 28 of these, a few of them we had to run through twice, but it has worked on every single one that we've tried. Now we have not yet tried an iPhone 10, so we have been doing it on a lot of iPhone 7s. Uh, I think we've tried a 6S, um, but we have not tried the iPhone 10, and I'm not sure if we've tried an iPhone 8 or not. All right, there we go. So now the phone is entirely within the oven and we've got the cable hanging out that's connecting it to iTunes. All right, so now we're gonna let it just hang out for a second while we wait for it to come up to temperature. We don't wanna start the, the restore until after it is warmed up because that heat, that specific amount of heat is part of what helps to block those signals. Because the phone will, re will just fail to, to restore if you've completely blocked the signals. So it needs to be this very specific partial block or else it's not gonna work. And so that depends on having the Easy Bake oven and it has to be preheated. So you need to bake that first batch of brownies in order to make sure you're at the right temperature. And then you need to put your phone in the aluminum. It has to be fully enclosed by the aluminum. It is not necessary to put a lid on it. We did try that first, put aluminum foil on top. That is not necessary, so you don't have to do that step. And then once you feel that it has come up to temperature, then you can go ahead and click over to iTunes. And let's click Restore. All right, so now iTunes is asking me to restore an update. And I'm saying yes, and now you can watch the restore taking place. And, you know, if you're one of these kind of conspiracy theorists and, you know, if you're a skeptic, totally understand. I don't think that you should just automatically believe everything that you see on the Internet. Then you're going to want to match the, the number on this phone that we've been looking at with that number on iTunes to make sure that this is indeed the same phone. All right, so we're gonna just let it go through the restore process. And you know, this takes some time. So what I've started doing in this section is trying out some of the other Easy Bake Oven um, products. So we've got our, you know, there's no, no need to waste these delicious looking Easy Bake brownies. So I like to whip up a batch of the Easy Bake, um, the Easy Bake frosting. Now, I do think it's important to get a vegan frosting uh, so we we got the vegan kind here. It's a little thin, I think. I'm not sure if you can really see that. Um, so I'll just kind of frost these. Let me check and see how iTunes update is, is going. It should be fine. I want to check in on that. Where are you, iTunes? Restoring. All right, so it's restoring. Seems to be going through. Um, so somewhere around, uh, around here, when it gets to a verifying step, that's when, that's when the signals are going to be just disturbed, just flipping a couple of ones and zeros, just enough so that it sounds kind of staticky, but that it can still be conveyed as largely okay. So it just kind of has to, to sort of gray out the actual um, you know, UDID of the phone in order for Apple to think, okay, that's okay, and pass, pass restore and unlock the phone. If it is not quite noisy enough, then it will restore, but it'll still be iCloud locked. If you have the temperature up too high, like when we were trying real ovens or the bottom preheater, then it will just fail restore. So we'll see if, we're, if it's gonna go well for us on this batch. Um, meanwhile, I'm going to just go ahead and put some of this delicious icing on these awesome looking brownies. Hopefully when the phone completes the restore, it will be iCloud unlocked and we'll be able to set it up as a new phone, which will be fantastic to get a phone back into service. I'm going to do another one of my little brownies here. Looks like the restore is proceeding as normal. Now we won't know whether or not it worked until the end. Um, I think next time on the frosting though, um, I'm going to use a little less, <clears throat> less water. I've been using uh, just some bottled water to make the frosting. So that's pretty easy. You can just follow the instructions from, from the Easy Bake Oven manufacturers. 
and that should work out. So um, while that is continuing on, it says restoring. Looks like that's going to be a go. I am going to try out this new thing. I have not used these before. This is the Easy Bake Rainbow Crystals. So that will be a fun little Easter treat. So let's see how that looks. Oh, that's definitely really cute. Looks like Easter. Look at that. Now, isn't that just incredible? That's going to be so great. I love this. This is way more fun than last year when we were having to drill out the CPUs and it's, you know, getting little flakes and bits of stuff everywhere. So much more fun to just sit here and uh, decorate your brownies. Um, I will advise you after you've done a few of these, it's really tempting to skip to skip that first batch of brownies. And I found that when I've done that, that's when I'm having to run these through uh, two or three times because my temperatures aren't quite right. And you'll, you'll even notice that within some of these brownies here that some of them are a little, you know, a little still kind of like less done than others. And so there really is a lot of variability here in the temperature. Now, you know, we have not yet really done fancy stuff like getting a thermocouple to figure out exactly what the temperature is in there. You know, no, nothing like that. Um, so this process takes a few minutes. When you're doing one like this one that doesn't have a home button working, it's going to take a little bit of extra time because it's hard for the iPhone 7 to boot without his home button. He doesn't like to do that, but it will do that. It will work. I will tell you that using, you know, it's hard to find a long cable like this that's a certified cable. It is, as always, really important to stick with your made for iPhone certified cables because those things um, have the right chips. You'll find that the copy cables will tend to um, fall apart or they won't be able to withstand the heat in the oven. So that has happened to us a few times. Let's see. Um, what is iTunes telling us? iTunes is quiet. Sometimes it's hard when I'm doing a, a stream here to see my messages from iTunes. It looks like iTunes says, ooh, it looks like it worked. Oh, I can see the phone. Yay, iPhone, iPhone. Um, that to me is a phone that's not iCloud locked. Because remember, if it's iCloud locked, you plug it in, it will say activation locked. If that looks like it worked, let's go ahead and turn the oven off. Now, I have learned that this is, um, you know, it's, it's hotter than you think. It's surprisingly hot. All right, so let's go ahead. And now, in order to get it out, don't try to pull it back out through the cord, no matter how excited you are that, you know, that, that, it, that it looks like it worked. Um, We'll, we'll have to push it through, all the way through to the cool down side. And what is that message from iTunes? Congratulations, your phone has been unlocked. Yes! So let's pull it out and see it. Oh, I just can't believe how easy it is. And it's just, I can't believe. It's almost unbelievable that this works. So let me finish on how to get this out. So we push it. You have to push it all the way through. And then once it's through, you're going to pull it out and then just take the cable out and pull the cable out the same way. So I'll show you what I mean by that. So you'll pull it out here from the cool down section. Here it comes out. All right. So at this point, the iCloud is off. So we can just go ahead and take the phone out. We don't need the, the tray anymore. Now, I like to, you know, I'll use this tray, but it, it's, you know, I like to replace them. I get a new tray. You can just order the new tray um, online and then just kind of cut out a new notch um, for, the, for the cord. Alrighty, so we are going to just kind of, I'm going to let the cable just kind of stick in here until this can finish, and that way you guys can see that this phone is now unlocked so this is pretty awesome let's see if um that message yeah says set up and sync click continue sure continue we'll set up as a new phone continue syncing phone ready 
Here we go. All right, so this home button doesn't work, but I do want to show you guys. There you go. Uh, <laughs> I'd like to, I, I don't want to, to take it out while it's still talking to iTunes, so I'm not sure if you can see that these numbers are the same or not. Here, I'll bring it over so that you can. Here you go. Look at that same, same phone as we started with. Now, iCloud unlocked. Alrighty. It is a bummer that the home button doesn't open on this one. It has the, it was originally a black phone. It's got a white screen on it. Don't know why. Probably it was just a, somebody took it in somewhere for a home button repair. Home button repairs are really, really annoying. All right, let's see what iTunes has to say. Welcome to your new phone. Updating files on iPhone. It's going to take a while. All righty. Come on. Work home button. All right, here's a, here's a tip though. A lot of people kind of get into this situation and freak out. Um, I think just to, let's see, I'm gonna show you guys while we're here how to get out from that. All right, you can use iTunes, et cetera, et cetera. There we are, look at that. It named it Jess's phone, since my computer is named Jess's computer. And it is, uh, you know, recognizes, recognizes uh, this phone just fine. Alrighty, so let's, uh, let me show you how to get past this, just kind of for fun. All right, so we'll take that off. I'm gonna now disconnect from iTunes. And here's how to get out of this. Whenever you're stuck with a phone that doesn't have a home button, so that's broken home button, you can hit, if you turn it off and slide to power off, boop, and then wait for a second. When you turn it back on, it will be at the choose your language. And then you can click through, um, finish setup, activate it, and then you'll be able to use accessibility settings to uh, give yourself that on-screen home button. So then you can actually use the phone or you can always take it to Apple since it's iCloud unlocked and get yourself a new home button. Let me show you how to get out your cable. To get your cable out, you're gonna need to like poke the oven door open again. And I just kinda wanna show you guys that, you know, like that nothing weird is going on. There's nothing else. How do I do that? There's nothing in this oven. See? You can see all the way through. Nothing in there. No funny business. Nothing weird. Straight up normal. Normal easy bake oven. There we go. And we're going to now turn this phone on. It's going to take a long time for it to boot. So we're going to leave it here for it to boot up while we finish decorating the rest of these guys just to kind of be complete. Takes a long time. This is taking a long time because it doesn't have a native home button, which is a drag. I didn't have another one for for an example or else I would have sped up because I know nobody likes to watch long videos. But I was just super excited to share this solution with everybody. Maybe there's still time for you to unlock. Yay! And here we go. Quick start, set up manually. And that we're, you know, we're just kind of at our standard setup. So we're gonna pick Wi-Fi, you know, continue past privacy, you know, it's failed on the touch ID. We're going to do no passcode, don't use passcode. We're going to say don't, don't use passcode. We're going to say set up as a new phone. And there we go. It's letting us, it's 
totally iCloud unlocked, so we could set it up and lock it to our ID. So we're gonna say, don't have one set up later, don't use, agree terms and condition, continue, can, ah, set up later for Siri, don't share, get started, ah! <laughs> set up later in settings on home button, Cheers of you, fine, next. Welcome to iPhone Get Started. And there we go, we've got a totally usable iCloud unlocked phone. This is fantastic, that was unlocked by the Easy Bake Oven method, which uh, it couldn't be easier. And to go with it, we've got this delicious plate of brownies. What could be better than this? iCloud unlocked phone plus brownies. There you go. It doesn't get any easier than that. Put away those drills. We got a new way to iCloud unlock these phones even easier for 2018. Happy Easter and happy 1st of April from iPad Recap.